hi all welcome in next video so in this video i'm going to tell you about uh, one new uh, tool which are like being used in our development and which is uh, like very much important if you talk about the development part like what happens sometimes like we uh, complete our development we do the deployment we have deployed something in a production or a staging and we forget about the code okay sometimes the code like being stored in uh, tfs and sometimes git repository and sometimes like if we are working um, in very stable application we don't store code in somewhere or it was the older code we forgot to store or we developed something and we just deployed in a production and we forget about the code okay so what happens in this case like uh, if further we get the any modification or enhancement or any kind of changes inside the application so we just started looking about the uh, looking for the code and we don't get the <coughs> code so in that case like we just started like how we can get the code and if we have uh, some code we uh, we don't understand like whether this code is latest or this code is older one all the function methods and all the controls are there inside the code or not so that we can uh, uh, in that like we, we get confused and we are not sure about the uh, coding part okay so uh, in that case like decompiler comes in in, in the import importance like what we did we do in this decompiler like if we have like if we have some deployable component if we have some executable so what we, de we do in that case like we have created some solution and we publish that code so that in that case that dll gets created and we deploy that dll to the, like you know production or in a staging or in like preport environment so what we can do here like um, we can uh, like decompile that dll we can after decompiling we can understand like what are the functions what are the operations methods and what are the criteria what are the responses we created for the particular solution and that we can verify and in case of like if any um, function or operation is not present in the inside the older solution so that we can also like fetch the code and we can create that same function inside the solution okay so let's go ahead and try to understand what what we can do through this decompiler so what we are going to learn here so firstly what is the decompilation and what is decompiler advantages of decompilation details about dot peak tool and examples of decom decompiling .NET DLL. So decompilation. So decompilation means converting executable already to run program code into a sum or form of high level language that humans can easily understand. Okay. So like you understanding, if we are creating some classes, we are creating some namespaces. So when we are deploying, so all those things gets converted to the DLL. Okay. So decompilation is basically a reverse engineering kind of thing in 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 this like we are going through the like decompilers and decompile decompiled decompile, decompile and pushing and in this process like we try to get the methods functions and controls name and we try to compare those things with the existing solutions or we trying to create a new solution using those functions and operations <coughs> So what is decompiler so the tool used to decompile the software code translate into in, into the human understandable language okay uh, so see that tool is known as simply decompiler like which is responsible for decompiling the code okay decompiler is a computer program that receives an input from um, executive executable file like it's kind of a dll so it takes a dll and give us the uh, solution file you can clearly say okay so dot net peak so this type of application we are going to use dot net peak which has been developed by jet brands okay and this is a very much important tool and we this uh, this tool is like freeware and no license is required for that and it's a very efficient tool i i'm using continuously this tool so that's why i try to uh, put this uh, uh, try to put details here for this about this tool so in case of, of like decompilation required in your case or in case of you want to do uh, some decompilation or reverse kind of engineering so you can uh, freely 
uh, trust in this tool and you can use this okay so let's go to the uh, download part how we can download it okay so let me pull you so this is the url for jetbrains.com slash decompiler slash download so here you can download this tool so let me download it for you so i'm just jumping into that url and downloading this tool let me take how much time it is taking working very fast so we don't need to worry about so how you can install and how you can like decompile the dls that all i am going to tell here okay so <clears throat> meantime when this is the first day let's install okay so it's been completed so in the folder It's completed now. Okay. So I will tell you open. Okay. So this way it is opening. Do ultimate dot ultimate. So uh, the best thing uh, and best best part of this application is like you can also integrate this tool with the Visual Studio directly, and you can use the decompilation from there only. Okay. So currently I'm not integrating. I'm just trying to using this application. So I will accept this, continue, and the installation is started. Okay. Let's wait until the installation gets completed. <coughs> Yeah, install is there. So we are loading the package. Okay, so meantime the installation is in progress. What we can do? <coughs> I'm just uh, waiting on DLL while publishing this uh, .NET application. Actually, I've created one uh, test WCF uh, test uh, WCF service. Okay, <coughs> so I'm just publishing this particular service so that we can get the DLL. And later on, after getting the DLL, we will be decompile that and see like what are the function and operations we can see inside the DLL okay so let me publish it first so publish means basically we are converting this high level code to the executable code or, or in DLL format so we, I already have uh, selected the path the right path okay so just I'm publishing here in that path <coughs> Okay, so you can see an app watch the published successfully in this path. Okay, so when the public publish application published successfully, we can see the DNS. Okay, so let me open this path. So this is the path I had been there. So this is the service app config. And this is the DLL you can see. These are the dependent DLL like Oracle, Microsoft, System DLLs. Okay. But this is the solution DLL. Okay. 
this is the solution DLL. Okay, the same DLL we will be decompiling here in this tool. Okay, so you can see product installation done. So let's exit from this. Search your jet. Jet brings dot pick twenty twenty one. Okay. Ramesh administrator. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, I accept. Okay, I accept. Okay. 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 So some uh, dealers system core data web XML that were present in our like CAC. So some of the dealers have been already picked up. Okay. So these are not actually our solution dealer. If we wanted to decompile any of our solution dealer, so we need to uh, select that particular one. But in that also, like if you wanted to system that data, you can see what were the components there. You can see what are the components were present inside the system data DLL. Okay, so you can see for this system dot uh, data, what are the methods there? What are the functions there? What are the constraints there? So all the thing you can see here. Uh, I I would say like in very deeply, and you can see also get the code here. Okay. So let me select my DLL that I created from test WC application. Okay. So that is present in the published app test WC app inside bin and inside bin we have test WC app API DLL. Okay, open that. Let it let it be loaded. you can see it is also telling the framework dotnet 4.8 it was developed in framework 4.8 okay so you can see if i open my solution and i show you what are the uh, solution files are there so you can clearly uh, if i close this okay if i open it you can clearly compare that okay so we have a two namespaces here one is test wcf api so you can see here test wcf api okay and inside test wcf api dot model so test wcf api dot model so this is the main namespace and this is the inside namespace so if i expand this one so you can see the service is present there i service you can see the i service is present there and the i service class is present there okay if you wanted to see the class so this is the iservice.cs so what are the operation contract so it was the test so i had only created one uh, contract that is get package data so let's see with the get package data is present here see the package and the code is present here get package data the signature will be compared the same thing which is present here okay see if we wanted to see the detail so we can also see the detail here get data using data contract the second operation contract is also there to get data using a data contract composite okay and this is the class if i see here see 
the code is present here exact code is present here and if you compare this code this is this code is the like 100% matching with the solution okay so if I go here inside the implementation go to implementation see get package details async see this is the code and this is the code all is accurate nothing no difference you will be getting all other things are same even the commented line is also present there you see okay let's talk about the model like whether we are getting our models in the section or not so we have one model package details okay so let's see here what are the models we have so we have one model package detail you can see here clearly and what are the fields here that we can see so let's see what are the fields here you can see all the fields three two six three two six we have a six fields here and we have a six fields also here package id is only and type id is integer so package id and type id is integer so means like we are getting accurately solution details after decompiling our DLL using this tool. Okay. So in the case like if we lost some functions, we lost some code, we lost some solution. So very easily we can get the production DLL and we can decompile here and we can compare the code or in case we lost something, we can implement or we can add that functionality in our solution so this is a very much important i would suggest you uh, you also try once at your end so that you can also be confident on it and in case of needed this thing in your project please feel free to implement that okay this is a freeware so you need not to be worry about for the license and all other things okay so that was all for this Okay, <clears throat> thank you so much for the watching. We will be seeing on the next video. Thank you so much.